Ting. Yeah. Automator workflows. Let's do it. Automator is an application that comes with every Mac that allows you to automatically perform laborious tasks very quickly, pretty much actually in one click. So let's go ahead and get started with Automator. I'm going to show you three different type of workflows. Let's make a like button for iTunes music. So all you do is click the button in your dock and it automatically likes the current song and puts it in your like playlist. Let's go ahead and do that. Open up Automator and double click workflow. Go ahead and go to the music tab. Pretty obvious, right? Say get the current song, drag that in. It works all graphically so you can see this. So it's going to look for the current song that is playing. The description is all here. This action retrieves the iTunes song that is currently playing or set to play. So if it's paused, and then say add songs to playlist. A. Let's do an existing playlist. Go ahead and open up iTunes, make a playlist. We'll call it Liked Songs. Easy enough. Go back to Automator and for the existing playlist, choose Liked Songs. Congratulations, you've now created a workflow. Command S to save. And don't save it as a workflow. Save this one as an application and call it I Like This Song. Save. That's going to go ahead and save. I think I saved it to the desktop. Go ahead and drag that to your dock. I'll close Automator so that stops being confusing. I like this song right there. Let's go ahead and play some music. So as, so as that's playing, go ahead and click I like this song, and it's going to add that to that playlist. So it's playing right now. I'll go to the playlist like songs, and I'll click it. And as you see there, it added that to the playlist. Let's go ahead and do this with some more songs. It was once a dark, lonely Now we go to my liked songs. And we see that all those songs I clicked like to are shown there. So that was easy enough. Cool. That's how that works. I'm going to go ahead and delete that workflow now. Let's go ahead and make another type of workflow that will mass rename stuff. So this one's very handy if you have large amounts of files. So go ahead and open up Automator. Double click workflow. And type in git specified finder items. Drag that in. So that's where you're going to put those finder items. Then rename specified or rename finder items. Drag that in. Hit don't add. It's just a simple warning. In the add date or time to finder items thing, change this to make sequential. Add a new name. I've got a whole folder of eyeball pictures that I'm going to rename. We'll call it eyes. And it's going to sequentially name them eyes dash one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to however many photos there are. You can change what's in between. I'll put a s underscore. I'll go ahead and add those finder items now. I've already done this tutorial once before. I'll go ahead and select all of those, add, hit run, and it does it in under a second. Done. Just like that. So is that easy? I'll go and show you now. Huh? We have eyes, one, two, three, four, fives, all the way, and it just keeps going. We'll rename this whole comp crop folder now. So I hit remove, add, add, comp crop, select them all, enter. And we'll call this eyes crop. Run. Done. Uh, crop, crop, eyes, crop, one, two, all the way up. So it's that easy. Now I'm going to show you a third type of workflow. For this, find a directory on Google of pictures that you like. So open up Safari. Yes, Safari. I don't care what other browser you use. Open Safari. Go to Google and type in index of and then whatever type of pictures you're looking for, such as wallpapers. Index of wallpapers. So I'm going to see what uh, type of pictures these are. Interesting wallpapers. I like this. All right. So go ahead and keep that window open and open up Automator. Good. Set it as a workflow. This one's a little more complicated, so I'm going to verbally explain it. 
type git select git current web page from Safari. That's going to look at Safari and see what web page you're on, being the index. Then go to the uh, internet tab. It becomes a lot easier. Get image URLs from web page. It's going to look for picture URLs. .jpg, 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 all those URLs. The URLs, the, the images themselves are not on the web page. They're linked, so linked from this web page. Now we need to download those pictures, so download URLs. Where to save them? Where better than to the desktop in a folder called pictures for this tutorial. Yeah, I fix for tutorial. Choose. And we hit run. You can tell by this little stopwatch. Wait for it. Alright, and the automator workflow has successfully completed. So there are three different types of automator workflows that can do extremely handy things. So now we successfully have all those pictures. Yay. Excuse me while I go ahead and delete them all. So thanks for watching this tutorial. And yeah, I actually got that background picture from one of those indexes. Alright, enjoy your day, and thanks for watching.